Steinbauer in second and Daniel Backman Anderson for Denmark is our leader here in the World Cup finals. Hanna Karasiova for Belarus with Sergei Drezhin's Zodiac. Hanna was second on the Central European League of FEI World Cup dresser. She was a winner and the second place finisher in World Cup qualifiers in Estonia and also took a win in Moscow. We saw Hannah last summer at the Gothenburg Europeans and last spring at the Omaha World Cup Finals. She's been riding this horse at Grand Prix for just over two years and uh, prior to Omaha only competed outside Central Europe twice before. Unfortunately she didn't have the best start in the halt. She's fidgeting so that would have straight away lost her marks for the first test, for the first movement, sorry. Yeah, 62.5. I'd like to see just a bit more bend through the body in the half pass. diagonal pairs in the rain back so you want when they go backwards you want them to move in diagonals which he did nicely but I think it was hard to see from this angle but I think he was bearing down a little in the contact good transitions let's see how the PF is looking too bad there was some irregularities there but he maintained a bit of lift and clear transitions in and out so competing all spring actually as a, as a pre-qualified rider by the time the Sertogenbosch in the Netherlands qualifier rolls around she's eligible for a place at Sertogenbosch to ride in Western Europe before the finals. Um, she didn't take up that opportunity. In fact, uh, finished off her campaign with a show in Moscow with a, uh, a Grand Prix special win there. Broken 70% a couple of times in Grand Prix. I'd have liked to have heard, just seen a little bit more stretch in the extended walk. I don't feel like she really let him go in the contact. Nice clear transition into the passage. And we may or may not get the answer to why she was controlling there a little bit later on, because it's very much about riding the horse you're on on the day. Yeah, absolutely. Again, just bearing down there, not really pushing from behind in the PF, but clear transitions in and out. Yeah, absolutely. She may not have wanted him to stretch because maybe he gets hot in the walk. You know, there's all sorts of reasons behind it. But for those top marks, you really want to show a nice stretch and relaxation in the walk and a clear difference between the extended walk and the collected walk. Again, the horse is coming back at her in the changes, not traveling forward. the extension and a nice change to finish on that transition back I think could have been a bit clearer from the extended counter again the suckleness to the left not quite equal to the suckleness on the right Just watching it in the ring as well, Natasha. It, the horse just kind of fell into the change yeah. at the end of each piece as well. Yeah, he was really on the shoulder. 
you want to see the changes pushing up from behind and remaining straight. And those one times are actually very straight, but and they were much better than the twos. They were travelling more forward. You just want them to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more expressive, and travelling a little bit more for those higher marks. small pirouette. She kept the activity through though. I think if you wanted to be super critical, the horse maybe jumped around yeah. the inside hind rather than cantered around. around. The yeah. judges are really carefully looking for that maintenance of the canter stride. There's inside hind, diagonal pair, outside front. Yeah. No, I knew I got that the wrong way around. Outside hind, outside diagonal hind. pair, inside front. She'll hand back my Pony Club C test at once. <laughs> Great lift in the passage. Let's hope she can maintain it. good steps there again just coming behind the bit a tiny bit so you've seen a couple of riders already who have scored in their career 70 percent in dressage but they're not really consistently established at that level and here in the finals they've scored just a little bit on the 68 69 and that looks to be exactly the story once again here this time for hannah karaziova for belarus with the zodiac He does look like a high heels. <laughs> and actually, that's confused me even more now because he obviously doesn't get hot. So I don't know why she didn't allow him that extra rain in the extended camp, in the extended walk, sorry. Because he has such a good quality of walk. The other issue can also just come down to what it feels like on board. And yeah. this is where, you know, riders, everyone has a trainer, even if it is just their, their husband who's not horsey at all on the ground, but can go that looked like this, that looked like that, yeah. just so you have that feedback, because horses, they, they can spoof you. We see a lot with people, you know, trying to deliver 12 to 15 strides of, of Piaf, and actually the horse is spoofing them, and they're not clearly in Piaf until only maybe the fourth stride. Hannah Karasiova and Zodiac, 68.4% here for them today, and uh, that is going to go in.